This is my greenhouse tour. Uh, to the left are my European sand lizards, Lacerta agilis. Um, it's a perspex constructed open topped enclosure. It has a uh, UV perspex on the side that allows uh, ultraviolet light to permeate. Um, inside basking in the sun are two of the male uh, sand lizards. Uh, there's one female in here as well. Um, they're brothers and they've lived together all of their lives. I've never had any trouble with them fighting with each other, unlike uh, some of the other Lacerta species. Um, you'll notice that there's a heat lamp. This is another clip of one of the males basking under the heat lamp on a cloudy day. They're very tame lizards, very calm natured, can be picked up. Um, again, this isn't very common with some of the other species of Lacertas. Uh, across here then is a three foot glass tank and um, there's various reeds and plants growing in it. There's a clip taken at night time. Uh, these are Spanish rib newts. Uh, the one out front is a leucistic tadpole and that's a normal wild type tadpole. I'm just feeding them some pellet food here. And they live in this tank uh, year round. Uh, these were born um, to my adults and they've been raised in, in the greenhouse. Below that tank then um, is another tank and in here I keep alpine newts and European fire-bellied toads. This is the European fire-bellied toad female here and just under this log sorry about my finger you'll be able to see the male to the left and some of this year's baby alpine newts they were born this summer. The adults will be underwater. Um, this is my carnivorous plant collection. Uh, just some sun juice. Uh, that's a Saracenia uh, purpura. That's Saracenia leucophila. And these are my Venus flytraps. Um, in the tank across the way, I keep my toads. These are mainly Bufo Bufo, or the common European toad. Uh, and there's one green toad in here, a Bufo viridis. And here she, or he is. Um, I raised her up from a tadpole. Unfortunately, she was the only one made it. And these are the common toads. Again, I reared these from tadpoles. A friend of mine bred them. I started off with 14 tadpoles and I ended up with six adult toads. That's a little male. And they live in this uh, four foot by two foot plastic tank with an overhang around the top to stop them climbing out. And they're quite happy in the greenhouse year round as long as they can get underground to avoid the heat and the cold. So you can hear that little male singing. That's a get off me call in case another male would try and uh, mistake him for a female. Above them then are my uh, European pool frogs and these are actually uh, United Kingdom pool frogs. These are direct descendants from Lucky the pool frog and if you haven't heard of Lucky you can google him and read about his story. These are his great grandchildren. Again I raised these up from froglets. Uh, next door is just a little bog with some carnivorous plant seeds. Uh, at the back then, uh, this is a Zoomed screen cage and I keep my grey tree frogs in here. The plant is a raspberry bush and there's various branches for them to climb on and that's one of the little male grey tree frogs just sitting on the leaf there. So it's a screen cage, 18 by 18 by 3 foot tall. Uh, on the ground is a plant called Mind Your Own Business. Um, it grows all over the place and it's great because it keeps weeds down. And then that's my little fig tree. Across from the toads then is my marbled newt tank. You can see one of them here. And three more have climbed up on the ridge, which they like to do. There's a little overhang on this so they cannot escape. Um, again, a 4 by 2 plastic tank, terrestrial setup, with a water dish in the corner for them lots of plants and they can get underground to escape the cold and the heat in the greenhouse and here they are having a little 
snack on some wax worms. Wax worms are very high in fat, so they're really just a little treat, particularly in preparation for the winter um, when, the, when they go underground to hibernate. And the extra little bit of fat helps them through the winter. Just outside the greenhouse, I have my axolotl pond. This is a little clip shot at night time because they're very difficult to see during the day. I just thrown in some pellets and you can see him eating them there in the pond, which is just outside the greenhouse. And I've bred these myself. These are my own breeding. Across from the axolotl are my eastern tiger salamanders. Here's my male. And they don't live in the greenhouse. It would get just a little too hot for them in there, so he lives outside. Uh, he's no problem coping the cold. They hibernate in the winter and we don't get very warm summers here in Ireland, so he's quite happy out in an outdoor enclosure. Back in the greenhouse again, this is a little midwife toad. This is one of the babies that I've raised, and there's an adult breeding pair in here as well. i leave you with a little panorama of the greenhouse. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them, and if you like this video, subscribe for more. Thank you.